Hello, everybody. I'm gonna start by designing something in Illustrator. Maybe get the rough idea out. I don't know. I'll see how this goes. Just as a heads up, I'm gonna be going in and out of talking during this live stream um, because my environment isn't very quiet, and so I'm just gonna be muting myself whenever I feel like I should. So prepare for intermittent talking. Hmm, I'm not, um, this is, I'm just kind of trying to recreate the old one, but make it round, mostly. Um, but I'm not sure that, that it's going to work that way. Oops. There's my round template. I kind of want it to fit in the in the roundness, but in order to do that, I have to have really small letters. I don't really want really small letters. So I'm wondering if I can take the idea, make it uh, different somehow. And that's where I'm not stuck, but, you know, thinking. I wonder if I get my blender icon out and try and kind of use this somehow. Hmm. I kind of like this curve that goes up on the T here. I wonder if we could make the it kind of rounded on the bottom, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to stick with even words, because sometimes words are, uh, they're, they're iffy in logos and stuff, because, you know, I want it to read from, like, teeny tiny, and, you know, that's colors and shapes and things like that. Hmm, I wonder if I, um, like, do sort of a swirling shape. I know with, I'm not exactly sure how to do swirling shape. Just kind of making up something right here. Huh? Maybe something like that with, um, this would be not this color of blue, but maybe bluey. Um, like a, a light blue. Or maybe even like my old logo, um, blue, which is like a really dark dark blue. And then this one could be kind of yellow. Not that yellow, but uh, orange yellow. That's kind of a burnt yellow. Kind of like. Even though everyone goes with these colors because it's blender colors. I kind of like the gold in my logo as well. Um, which is kind of orangey, but I wonder if I can make it more gold in, in this piece. This is really rough. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of like a blender, like, like mixing things together sort of idea. That's that was my uh, base idea here, so I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But I'll start there since my channel is called Blend It. So why not blend it together? Hmm. Need a color for this circle. Um, maybe black. But I don't. It's kind of black hole. E. Um. I'm experimenting with the idea of putting this circle kind of like in the middle between these two, like that. 
and maybe having a larger stroke so that they look like they're kind of kind of sucking in there maybe but I also kind of want this to be in either the exact center or pretty close so I'm going to center that and then kind of move these to, to match I think but also kind of shape them to each other, so that's hard. Yeah. I don't know, maybe something like that. Let's see if we rotate these around the center. I don't know. I need... I think I need more... more swirl, kind of. Which... Maybe... maybe I'll... I'll hide these for a moment. Start with... Uh, why arc tool spiral tool this is what I need I didn't know that they had this one can you oh you can make the spiral more detailed whoa change how it spirals that's cool kinda like that maybe not so many spirals but then we add a, I'll just add a grunge texture to the stroke, make it really big, make it a little smaller, <laughs> kind of, maybe not that grunge texture, maybe basic and change the weight of it to be more uh, like this. kind of interesting and then uh, hopefully that's on the center so I was going to duplicate it and rotate it around the center of the image which is right there hmm that's not that's not working out so well. Actually, I need it to be flipped, don't I? Okay, now I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I need to make a new spiral around the center. That's... I need to follow this one in a way. I'm not entirely sure how to do that. Um, maybe I just start by... Or actually just uh, following it. Hmm. 
can do that. Um, then sell it to be. Can I? Uh, tell it to be smooth. Maybe. Yeah, this one's not going to be as perfect of a spiral. Now I want to know how you make... Ooh, now I want to know how you make uh, two like, perfect spirals. Interlocking with each other. Kind of. You know, like, I just want to kind of rotate this one a little bit. To get it to be... Like, move it... Or maybe I'll just make it bigger. Well, that'll do some interesting stuff, but I don't think it'll do what I wanted. Kind of just want to envelop the inner one just by a little bit. Well, it's kind of doing it, and we should uh, get our color. And it shouldn't be in the fill, it should be in the stroke. And. This one stroke is 80. This one needs to be 80 as well. Along with the shape. Cool. Oh, hey. Okay. So this is actually kind of working. You just scale it up a little bit. And then... Kind of position it, and then take both of them and put the the center on the center because right now it isn't on the center, even though the I don't know spirals are weird. And we're just gonna put the black hole. Even though I don't think it should be black, I think it should be like maybe it should be a gradient. Even though gradients are, I don't love gradients. They're kind of weird, but you make one edge of the gradient. Um, this blue color, right? Yes and no. Gotta move that to the fill. Add that to the gradient. And then the other one is this one. Add that to the fill. Stroke the And then add that one to the gradient. This is like the only way I've found to get gradients with the correct colors. It's kind of weird. And that gradient is very good, like just by default. Uh, 60, no, 40, something, something to cut off to get them to like cut off in the middle. This is a little, a little busy, I would say, maybe a little small. Um, let's make my boundary box a little bit more bounding. So that's going to be, that would be the logo, but yeah, I think, I think it's a little too, um, like, detailed. I kind of like the black. Oop. <laughs> so.
So I think I, I liked where this was going. I think I'm going to hide those spirals again, get a spiral, start in the center, and like decide what the, like how much spiraling I should do. Like I can control how big the spiral is, kind of like that. And then I can control how many um, like segments are in it. Of course, the bigger I make the spiral, like the square it gets, it seems like like it's more rounded this way. But like I think I only want like if my center dot is like that big, I think I only want you know maybe even less spirals going into it. Um, yeah, like that even. Even though that's not really spiraling around the center very well. <coughs> um, but we can try it. Oh, is it? Really? Thanks for talking. Um. My voice isn't quite clean today. Um, so I don't know. You know, like I kind of have a, a gravel. But I was hoping it wouldn't be that uh, staticky. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Is that any better? I messed with the connection um, on the, to the computer, but I don't know if it changed anything. Hmm. Well, that's good to know. Um, I'm going to see if maybe my position will change that. I've made some very strange loud noises. But, uh, hmm. Yeah, you know, something like that on the spirals. Hmm, I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, it kind of does. I didn't think about that. That that makes sense. I think in order for this to read better, we need thicker lines. Um, maybe I think I'd be at ah, eighty. Yeah, it's like. Uh, 150 or something, but yeah, I don't really want to go 
Ubisoft, if that's how you pronounce it, because um, that's uh, <laughs> already taken, of course. Let's see. Gotta make sure and get get what it looks like, you know, really tiny. I'm almost considering setting up my project a little better, um, putting this boundary ellipse on uh, as a as a mask for all of this stuff. So, actually. I just need these three objects right here. Yeah, and this one. And that did not do it. That was something else. That looked okay, but there we go. Now this is like actually cut to bounds, which helps a little bit in just seeing where it's going to be cut off. Well, I am getting a lot of notifications. It's uh, unusual. Okay. Um, let's see, should there be a border around the whole thing, you know, like this black border, I wonder? I think I would make it almost 9 maybe, on the inside, oh no, it can't be on the inside, it's gotta be on the outside. Mm, that looks kind of cheap. Um, yeah, I was actually going to hop over to Blender um, when I kind of get a design down because um, for my original one right here, um, I made this all in Blender and I, I really liked it, but I, it doesn't fit the round profile, so I really wanted to get a concept down before I make something in Blender, which maybe 3D kind of lends itself to the, the logo a little better but I was kind of hoping to get out a few ideas here in Illustrator first, if that makes any sense. But yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I kind of like where this is going. I mean, I could make it out of particles and stuff in Blender and like do a vortex simulation maybe. Um, that might be a little busy, but it may be easier to control. That's interesting. Kind of interesting how they're they're overlapping each other right here. I don't know if I like that or not yet. If, if I want them to do that, I wonder if I can change the. Oh, that's interesting. The blending mode. See how like if that if I can get them to like be a part of each other more than. I don't know. No. I think I just want the blue one on top is more what I'm thinking. The yellow one has enough uh, elbow room, I guess. More there.
Now I feel like this needs to be filled in with something, so I'm just gonna add a square and put it at the bottom, fill it with black or something like that. See what that looks like. Mmm, that kind of makes my kind of makes my gaps look pretty evident. Um, wonder if a different <laughs> yeah no not that um well that's kind of cool actually like rgb but that's wrong and maybe if we made the center thing white but that's like a lot of colors that's kind of interesting where the red kind of comes out as an almost its own other spiral but also a little strong maybe if i made it like a dark red Oh, that's that's interesting. Not not the right colors. Kinky red, red, what kind of red? Oh, yeah, more purple red. That's not pinky. Okay. Yeah. Maybe orange. No, because I only have yellow. Well, I should actually probably make. If I was going that RGB route, I should make this yellow. Instead of gold, I should make it green. But that could look powerful. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I didn't have voice on for a long time. Um, what do you think of my current uh, idea? I think it looks okay-ish, maybe? I'm not settled on it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can't decide if I still like this. It's, it's very... Google Chrome comes to mind, <laughs> um, and and I don't know if it's like me. Can't decide, but I'll save it just so that I have it. Um, I didn't save it with Alpha. Whoopsie. Gotta make sure and do that. Yeah. Now I'm gonna see if I can remove some of these fireflies. I think it's called surface blur here in Photoshop. Yeah, see it kind of blurs areas while keeping other places sharp. You can make the blur amount 
Oh, really high. Ooh. Smooth. And maybe I'll fix up this center here. Um. Hmm, I don't know. It's definitely interesting. It's a little dark, I would say, probably. Um, maybe a uh, curves. I'm not too good at color correction, so. It's like, but if you make it too bright, then it's, then it really looks like Google Chrome. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if I tick this. Maybe I'll duplicate the layer because I don't know how to quite do it. And then take, do some sort of distort filter, like twirl, maybe. Um, just like 12%. Yeah, and like actually mix it up. Like that. That looks strange as well, but kind of kind of interesting in a you know like kind of like I can't recreate that sort of way. And less like Chrome because there's not you know three distinct parts. I don't know. Spherize it, yeah. No. Okay. Um. Color coordinates. Nice twirl. I kind of liked the twirl. I don't know if I liked all the twirl. Gotta take a look closer look at what I actually want out of this. Like if I do zero. Look if I do that instead. Or something. There's still some grain in there, but I'm not sure how I can fix that very much. And maybe I need to add a second um, mask here. Just kind of clean up all the edges. make it perfectly round. I don't know, it is kind of Google Chromey, but uh, I don't know, I can't tell. Like on one hand I kind of like it, there's some weird artifacts right there, but um, on the other hand I'm kind of not sure, you know, like if this is even a good, you know, place to go, kind of. Let's see here. I can... That's interesting. The ceiling brush isn't doing what I thinking it was going to do. Oh, that's why, because it's, I was on the mask. <laughs> hmm. Huh. 
Interesting. I've never used these healing tools very much before, so a little uh, experimentation. I don't know if I can fix that. Besides, maybe uh, clone stamping. that kind of clone stamping patch tool how does this work click somewhere oh so you draw a circle and then oh, and then you drag it from somewhere else yeah huh like I'd almost just come straight off here, take all this, and like just kind of move it over a little bit. But that's also weird because it tries to blend it in. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so, okay. Like that sort of fixed it, but it just made it blurry. Eh, anyway. Kinda like that. Um Yeah, I don't know, I kinda like it, but in a way I want like my words and stuff on it. You know, but if this was, you know, an icon up in the corner or whatever, would it be recognizable as me? Ah, thanks. I'm uh trying my best trying to kind of update this one which I did there um, so this doesn't fit in a circle very well and so I'm trying to trying to make something that fits in a circle because it seems like nowadays everything you know all profile pictures and, and all sorts of that that's kind of stuff is in circles and so you know whatever you make has to fit into a circle Oh, sure, I can uh, upload the whole stream. I It is two hours long, so um, it, the most interesting part here was at the end, I think. Um, kind of started from here where I was messing around with uh, Illustrator and, you know, just kind of getting a concept down. Um, I don't know. Hmm, I'm trying to decide if I need different, uh, you know, adjustments and stuff. Can't decide if it needs anything. I think it may need to be a little bit brighter. That's darker. Just kind of bring up, up the brightness on it a little bit, but, like, is that too colorful? I can't tell. I, I you know... Like most of my work, I tend to be a little moody, kind of, you know? And so this is like really bright, and so it's almost like it doesn't fit me. I don't know. Maybe I need to... I thought about, like... This isn't really me very much, but... In my brand, but... Making, you know, kind of like a Pac-Man uh, cutout in it like that but that kind of looks uh it's kind of that looks like C. Uh that could be interesting. If I was actually going for a letter. 
but hmm. I think I need something in the middle. I don't really know what that is, besides a black dot. That's the first thing that's coming to mind here, which doesn't really... I mean... It's not, you know, terribly uh, original, the black dot. I just do that. Well, this needs to be here. There. And this needs to be here. Okay. Like if it was just black in the middle, or should I put a color in the middle? But it's already so colorful that a color almost doesn't work. Should I put white in the middle? Should I put like a really deep dark blue in the middle? Or should I put. Um, I don't know, I feel like something needs to be in the middle. Almost like white, but not. Because white's too... I don't know, something's wrong with white. You think blue? Yeah, I kind of like blue, but it's got to be somewhere around here, this dark blue, I think. I do think that my blue, just overall blue, is a little... Like, not dark enough for me. Well, that's... That's weird. Like, I want, I want a darker blue. Not blue that's gone, but just a darker blue. Maybe. I don't know. I can't. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Hmm. And then this should be a clipping mask because it was affecting the center there. Um. Yeah, for the blues, uh, not that, not that kind. Uh, yeah, kind of like that, but just darkening the blue makes the whole image look darker. So I don't, but I don't want to really brighten it up much more than it already is, because my yellow is kind of supposed to be gold, and it's not really. It's turning just straight yellow, so, hmm. Hmm, yeah. Blue in the center here is not... It's not... Connecting with me right now. Um, 
I could make it kind of orangey, maybe. But I don't know. It doesn't. That doesn't really fit the style. I would say. Hmm. I almost like black. Just it just kind of is all going deep dark blackness. I wonder if I put. I'm sure this is going to look bad, but I'm going to try it anyway. Put a stroke around the outside, which I'm not sure how stroke works. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Just a tiny little bit. To a gradient. Mm, no. Um, I was thinking white. But that is almost very Google Chrome with white strokes. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I could make... I did think about making the center like an orb that was kind of shiny or something, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not liking this stroke. Maybe I do a outer glow. Make it out of a white color. Well, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. I feel like that's too small of a detail because like most of the time you're going to be seeing it at like this size and so like in there doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think I'm leaning towards no outer glow and pure white in the center, with maybe a little tiny bit of feathering on the on the mask. You know that kind of makes it well. That's way too much feathering, but um, so that kind of glows a little bit. But then there's also feathering on the outside here, so maybe I need to um, select my mask, um, change the um, change the brush brush tool minus plus minus. Okay, guess I can maybe. Subtract the outside here. Oh, that's strange. Okay, cancel that. Let's select and mask. Let's add. Add the outside. Quick selection tool. Okay. Okay, so I'm just not selecting this. Okay, I think that's what I want. Uh, or I want to negative this selection. I don't know. I'm trying to just select the middle. Why don't we say add mask to selection, then we come here, we add all this to the selection. And then 
Once that's done, that's interesting. Um, that did not do what I wanted. A gem. That could be cool. I kind of like, I like putting something in the middle, but it's so tiny that I'm hesitating, you know? So, um, but my idea was to, actually, you know, I can just paint this, I think. If I get a black brush, I can just, um, well, no, I want to keep the circle. I don't know. Um, if I, yeah, make this really big and I just, uh, kind of glow the inside here like that, but, you know, really subtly, not the way I just did it. Just kind of, that's almost too much. I don't like that, just made it glow. And then I took this layer and I, oops, there, and I just kind of made that big enough on the outside there. I don't know, is that, is that better? I can't, I mean, I think it looks, I think it looks better glowing. Yeah, I kind of like that. But now I can make my glow like any color. I could make it a red glow, I could make it a blue glow. But I kind of like white, or a slightly bluish white, maybe? Uh, no. I, I kind of like just pure white. Let's see if we had a white background, red background, black background, no background. Yeah, I think I like the glow. I may just um, come in and do a little bit more, uh, more glowing on the edges here, make it even brighter, kind of like that, or even even more. Uh, now it just looks like a funny hole. Yeah, I kind of liked it. Or the way it was before. And we just before I got all crazy. I like a little bit more down here, but then just kind of an overall enhancement of the glow, maybe. I don't know, something like that. That looks pretty good to me. A dark blue background maybe well I'm kind of making this like it could be on any background is what I was thinking so like sure it'll look good on a dark blue background and maybe maybe I'll do that for yeah I wonder for larger um, if if I will you if I want to put it in a larger place um, it could, I could put text on it maybe. So, what if I, uh, where's my text tools? Text, put text right in the center, type, uh, something like that. My text above everything. Hey, there it is. Um, maybe choose. Uh, uh, I think what I decided was Trajan, maybe for this font or for this text. Scale it up a bunch. I'm 
kind of warp it a little. Don't want any of that. Uh, arc. Arch. Mm. Flag, fish, fish eye, inflate. Maybe fish eye? No, that's weird. Arc upper. No, I think I want arc. And I just need to bend it more, but oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I don't need to bend it too much. I kind of want it to fit in there, though. I don't want it to be too distorted. So, like 40, maybe? Gotta keep that number in mind. Um, then make the text white, probably. And just kind of put it on there. Eh. Not liking that as much. I, I feel like there's a way to put text on a curve that isn't to distort it like that, because that's really distorted. So I'm going to see if I can go back here and hold on for a moment. I've got some sunlight blinding me in the face, so i got to go close the window. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's see. Uh, there is a way to make curves in Photoshop. Um, let's see, pen tool. Let's make a line. Then in the center of that line, we make it. Uh, we make it flat, and then we. Oh, that's my text. Uh, then we kind of make it circular, maybe? Let's kind of figure out. That's cool. Um, kind of make it as circular as possible. Maybe bring it down a little bit. And then my text. Yeah, there we go. Collision Pro, let's make it white. Okay, um, I think my, I think there's some sort of thing that blocks text. There it is. So we can hide this one, just move this one down, or change the curve, actually. I would rather change the curve. So, let's put this here. This one here. Get both of these and kind of put them a little lower. And then this one could be lower. And smaller. Like this. Um. Can't select my line anymore. Why can't I? Not? Oh, no. Okay. Just gonna bring it up a little bit, maybe. Maybe shrink the text? I don't know. Something like that. Um, 
Even though I thought I made this text white, but I guess maybe I missed or I undid or something. White. That's kind of hard to read. Like, I would almost take this and put the pivot point in the center and like rotate it like that. That's kind of interesting. Let's see if we can follow this blue line here a little bit more and then kind of come off of it, maybe. Um, pull out. You can't really read it so well, so although it looks could look good, you need some more readability, so I put like a drop shadow on it or something, but that's kind of cheap, I would say. Like it doesn't, it makes it pop out definitely, but I, it sometimes it, you know, just doesn't fit to have a drop shadow. So, yeah, we'll experiment here. I kind of like that actually. Even though I think I would pull this over some more. And again, just kind of align it to this. Thing right there. Um, okay, so there's the blend part of it. Um, I would just bring this up. Uh -huh. Okay, now we just need to duplicate this and put it down here. And uh, then make this one the opposite. Whoa! There we go. Did I? I think I may have messed something up, but it's working for now. So um, before we get too carried away with what we're doing, I'm just gonna write it. And oh, um, it is not capitalized. And also. I can't remember, I, um, in the Illustrator here, I kind of had a font figured out for the it. But, of course, I undid it. Is this? Okay, this might be it. Sitkia? I don't know if. I don't remember what my original fonts were for this one, so mm, yeah, I'm uh, hoping I just kind of get it close. So for this font, I want it to be, I guess, Sitkia, if I can find that one. Yep, there it is. And then... Just kind of get it to do what I want it to do. Maybe follow the bottom edge of this for. Well, let's put it down here. 
and then I'll come up. I think I want it to be on this edge. Like rotated and such. I don't know how to Oh, there was some controls. So I can control where it is on the curve there. I can control where the center of it is on the curve. This one I can control how they're there. That's kind of what I wanted. I want it to be on this side, but I want it to be up. And did I not write it, or did I just write T? Oh, I guess I just wrote T. Whoopsie. Um, this it can be bigger. I think so. Maybe like 600. And not so squashed. I'm wondering if this should just be rotated instead of arced. Like the arc isn't really doing anything for this. For maybe... Oh, hope I didn't delete my text. Where's I don't know how to do this. Um, yeah, I'm actually I'm thinking that let's go back to here. Thinking that the it needs to just be just normal text. So let me write that out it and just normal text and then I'll get rid of this one or no this one for now just kind of expand this one and put it either on the bottom or to the side I think I do want to squash it just a little bit uh, I can't tell. Squash it a little bit, make it bigger. Not that much. Hmm. Kind of like just putting it straight in the center. Getting a drop shadow. Now I want to like see it from far away. Hmm. I'm not liking the it part of it. <laughs> Just kind of a uh, funny phrase. Um. Thinking maybe we could make the blend a little bigger, even. But I don't want it to, yeah, do that. Mm, Four seventy-five. Um, well, that could be cool. I kind of like that idea. Um, 450? E why is this so... 430? Oh, because I don't have the D selected, maybe? 450. Oh, there. 475. 460. 455. That's kind of as big as I can make it. Okay, um, ooh. The dot of the eye is the glow.
like it's a, it's cool but it's not centered and that bothers me a little bit What I'm not liking about mm, the blend doesn't follow the circle. Yeah, um, ah, I, I I do like the idea of putting the the dot in the in the center there, but it's, it's not like like just centering it or like even that's weird. Um, hmm. I don't know, I wonder if I just need to um, write out, blend it in the, in here. Oh, that's not right. Um, I just want to grab this point, grab this point, make that flat, kind of pull that out. this can I um I'm not sure how to like extend this besides lifting it up but then that makes it shorter hmm maybe I need to no Uh, hmm, I don't know how to use the path tools here in uh, Photoshop. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe. Well, I like the drop shadow. I don't know. Um, what if I just delete that? Did I just write that on the same thing, but not the same same curve? I don't know. I can't tell. Um, yeah, let's see. Does the end look funny? Oh, well, I'm glad you guys could come. Uh, that was, it's been fun. Hearing your thoughts and stuff. Um, yeah, does the end look funny to anyone? I can't tell. I'm, I've been staring at this for a while. see if doing that changes anything I think kind of does I can't tell I don't know I'm struggling with these these tools to make circular text So now that we kind of have it sort of curved right, maybe? Mm, it still feels like it needs to kind of do that. But the spiral is like throwing you off and everything. That's so weird.
Yeah, I wonder if having the text just flat on it like this would look better. I actually kind of don't like white when it's flat like this. So black looks pretty good. Even though I don't want it to be too, like at a distance you can't really read it too well. But I wonder if that's the drop shadow. Or I should put it on its own, kind of. Uh, there, yeah, that's what we needed. <laughs> no, that made it really too subtle, I think. Or, I don't know, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but having it on an overlay. The only thing is it's not, like, bright enough. Like, it is really subtle. Hmm. Let's get our it back. See if we can... Um... Uh, ooh, that's not what I wanted. I want to space the letters out. Where's that? Um, window character. There we go. Oh, that did a lot. Oh, that's not the right one. Okay. Hundred. Okay. Then with overlay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, but also you can't read it, so no point. Um, there we go. Uh, read it here. Make it bigger. Take in the blend. Make it that bigger. Maybe. Oh, that's Blender. Um, I'm taking them both off overlay. Uh, it you can't read. I wonder if making it red, uh, whites. Or like a gray. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. like that. Oh, I kind of like them both on overlay. Yep. Can't zoom in and out when they have that selected. That's, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. I know it's interesting. I don't think I like. I'd only do this for certain um, instances. Like for the most part, you just have this as like a profile picture or something like that. And then if I wanted to make it big, I'd put that on it. But even that, I don't know. I kind of like the blend. I don't like the it as this as overlay like that. Maybe if I make it dark as well and move it up. Maybe. Hmm. 
Interesting. Well, I'm pretty happy with at least this, I think, for now. Um, and beyond that, I may add text, I may not add text, that's kind of, can't decide yet. Um, so, I think with that, I'm done. Um, I should probably save and save as, export it as PNG, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, thanks everyone for uh, stopping by and checking it out. I didn't know how much, you know, um, you'd participate or whatever, but I'm glad that you have, helping me a lot. I, I think the end product is definitely much better than it would have been. So yeah.